They don't need to explain further. There would be a breakdown of law and order. That's what they're begging for. I just wanted everybody to know that I'm not too old to shy away such responsibility if it comes. That's all. How can you take a people like the Ndibo and try and to impose on them a leadership? It's not possible. It was possible before, but after Biafra, no. Everybody knows that. That's what I really meant. Am I clearer now? Biafra will come. You either allow us to go in peace or you are going to remain pieces and Biafra will still go. I come that Nigeria will end. I come that they will end the Usman Danfodio legacy. That legacy that every time they will be talking about Usman Danfodio. You will think that Usman Danfodio manufactured a airplane. You will think that Usman Danfodio manufactured a car. Or he invented one uh, Ihela machine or something like that. No! Usman Danfodio have a legacy for killing northern Nigeria, for killing Aousas, conquering them and turn them into what you see today, Aousas Fulani. That is the legacy that Usman Danfodio brought to northern Nigeria. And today, they have Usman Danfodio University. That is what they, they continue that particular legacy. That is the reason why the Fulanis are killing innocent Christians in the northern Nigeria and the Middle Belt. It is to continue the Usman Danfodio legacy. And I am here to end it. I will end it. The end of Usman Danfodio legacy will start from this year. I am telling you, go and mark it. It will start from December 2nd. Once we exit Nigeria, that legacy is gone. Completely gone. Because they will not have any other place to conquer. Is it us that you are going to cross our border to come and start saying you want to conquer Biafra? We did not conquer us when we were in Nigeria. So that would be possible.